it wasn't really getting over trials, it was getting over the entire Olympic year. It was just like a really bad year for me. Um, actually, after my swim in 2016, I was like, oh, thank God I'm not doing another meet because it just like drained me so much. So it's just kind of like finding my love for the sport again because I really just had such a bad taste in my mouth. Gosh, after Olympic trials, I didn't touch it for a while. I was like, oh, that was terrible. I'm never doing that again. And then I was like, well, maybe I will. Um, yeah, it was kind of in the beginning of this year. I, I guess, actually last summer I started getting in just a little bit with some of the senior kids that are on my club team right now just to see what I could do and it, I went to a state meet and it was okay and I was like oh this was kind of fun maybe we'll make it like a serious thing and so I started getting into it more and more and I think really in January is when I started to <laughs> go back into it a lot wow this is terrifying oh I actually started coaching a little bit okay yeah I was like huh Maybe if I impart some of my wisdom to others, it'll, it'll help me. And it really did, because watching people, well actually the kids that I coach, understand swimming a little bit more and like they actually start to enjoy the process of doing it. I was like, wow, this, this reminds me of stuff that I used to do when I was younger and it just helped me get back into it. So It's a lot of fun. The girls, whew, uh, there's a couple of girls there that are faster than me in freestyle and stuff and I've been trying to get better at other strokes just so I'm not all breaststroke all the time and it's been really enjoyable. I mean I've never gotten to branch out before so I would hope so. I think that just depends on kind of the resources that are available. I suppose I feel like in coming off of 2015 Worlds and struggling through that, trying to get myself prepared for an Olympic year, I just kind of felt like I was alone. And I didn't really... I had trouble setting my mind towards the Olympics. And so I think that if I want to do this, it would be really helpful for me just to know that there's someone I can talk to so that I can work things out. And I guess my husband kind of does that now. He's really good at micromanaging me, so that's, that's nice. I feel really settled, whereas like before, with the whole swimming thing, you know, you have to go really fast in order to stay where you are. Like, I would have apartments on lease and I'd be like, oh, okay, well, if I don't make stipend this year, I'm gonna have to find some new roommates. Uh, whereas, you know, I have a job right now and I'm gonna stay where I'm at no matter how well or how poorly I do in the water. So, it's really nice. I do have goals, but as far as this year, this year is really just kind of like get back into racing and make sure that you know, I enjoy it and it's something that I want to do because if it starts to become a lot like it was before where every time I race I just feel like this is not what I want to do then I there's no point for me to do right. it like even if I what a best time and I felt that way I would be like this is this is unhealthy for me so right now it's just make sure you enjoy it and if I do towards the end of the summer I think I'll start pushing just a little bit harder and set goals that are like well now we gotta try and get under that 220 mark that we've been kind of staring at for forever 